He's been more than 40 times. It's his 29th official uh, visit to Germany. But because it is that first state visit, all eyes on them, a huge media presence as well on this tour, and they want to get everything right. The British government were really hoping that the King's visit was going to reinforce relations between the two nations. They, they may have achieved that. Well, from what we've seen so far, Rosie, Germany really pulling out all of the stops. Uh, they, of course, were meant to be the second country on this visit. The King and Queen Consort should have started on Sunday in France. That cancelled because of the protests taking place there. So Germany had the honour of being the first country to be visited uh, by the new uh, King and Queen Consort. And so even as they arrived into Germany yesterday, there were two German fighter jets escorting uh, their flight into Berlin, then a full ceremonial welcome at the iconic Brandenburg Gate, and last night a state banquet at the Schloss Bellevue, the presidential palace, you uh, played a clip there of the king giving his speech. He gave that speech half in German and in English as well uh, to stress the ties between the two countries. And that's really what this is all about, putting behind the divisions of Brexit and looking ahead to a chapter. So what's on the agenda today? Because yesterday was resplendent. We had this fantastic banquet. Um, day two's got to go off as well as day, day one did. Yes, and it's another packed schedule for the King and Queen Consort. Uh, the most important engagement, I think, for the King Day will be addressing the Bundestag, the German Federal Parliament, the first British monarch uh, to do so. So we're seeing lots of firsts here on uh, this visit. They're also going to be meeting Ukrainian refugees and talking uh, about uh, Britain and Germany's assistance for Ukraine. They're going to be visiting uh, a farmer's market, talking about organic farming. And of course, the other big uh, interest for the king and on this visit is climate change, sustainability and looking at Germany's attempts uh, to reach net zero and the kind of technologies that are being used in Germany. So all about shared interests, common values and uh, uh, really stressing that friendship, that relationship between these two uh, economic powerhouses. And they, they've had a, a really warm reception so far. And it, it is a country, Germany, that had a real deep-rooted respect for, for Queen Elizabeth. Uh, how sort of do the, the Germans view the British monarchy? Because we obviously are in a significant gear change now. Yes, and I think this is... As you say, a, a moment of change, the Queen highly respected uh, in Germany. And there's a, a poignant note in that Germany was the last country, overseas country, that the Queen visited on a state visit in 2015. Now the first country uh, to welcome her son, her heir, now our King. From what we've seen so far, Germany very keen uh, to build on this relationship with King. Uh, talked about the, the kind of uh, red carpet treatment they received on their arrival. And also from the German people. That wasn't a gift, but the German people out on the streets cheering for the King and Queen Consort on their arrival. Lots wearing paper crowns from a well-known burger chain. One uh, uh, young man <laughs> offered his crown to the King who said, I I'm all right, thank you. Uh, he's <laughs> yeah. got a few of those. <laughs> um, so I think we'll, we'll see more again today and tomorrow when the couple visit Hamburg. But so far, I think Buckingham Palace will be very pleased with the kind of reception that they have received. Yeah, and such attention to detail to make sure there were sort of no gaffes, no missteps, no mistakes, even checking, you know, the stationery that the king was going to use to make sure everything went smoothly. No leaky pens exactly. on this uh, trip. <laughs> Rosie. I mean, look, it's very familiar for the King. I think it's uh, he's been more than 40 times. It's his 29th official uh, visit to Germany. But because it is that first state visit, all eyes on them, a huge media presence as well on this tour, and they want to get everything right. If you enjoyed that, there is plenty more. Join me, Rosie Wright, for Early Breakfast on Times Radio, Monday to Friday, 5 to 6 a.m.